everyone, this is Twisted T. I just wanted to show you guys a quick video on an issue I ran into yesterday with the uh, newest version of the Ubiquiti controller uh, for the wireless access points. Um, so I just spun up a quick test environment here and I just wanted to show you guys what um, I, I ran into and how I solved that. So what it is, is basically I wanted to create um, a guest network for the the current network that I have. Now on the older versions of the controller, you could just easily say, here's a new network, check the box for guest network, and then say, I wanna add a password, and then put the password in. Well, what I what had happened here was, I'll, I'll go ahead and start this here, but I, I created a new guest network here, and I just named it the same, network one guest. And then I don't want a guest portal, I just want a password. So I'll come down here and I'll select password. And then I'm just gonna do something easy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? So you'll see that I just added that simple password. Okay, so portal, um, you know, I don't need anything for the portal advanced. I'm just gonna go with the defaults here just so I can show you guys um, what it is. So this is, I just want a simple guest password uh, on for the guest network. So I'm gonna say apply changes. <clears throat> now, uh, what happens at this point is that this will push out to the access points uh, that I had in my environment and that the SSID for the guest network is now broadcasting. So in my tests, when I would connect to, let's say network one guest, it immediately connected and gave me an IP address and I was able to get on without a password, even though I set a password. So this is what I was kind of looking at and, and this is how I got around this. Um, basically, if I come over here to system settings and you'll see new user interface, just go ahead and turn that off. It's okay with all your stuff that you have functioning right now. It's just going to be going back to the classic interface that they had. And when I went over here to settings and I went to wireless networks, you will notice here network one guest security open. So through the new interface, even though I created network one guest and I, I said it was it's a guest network here with a checkbox, it, it didn't add that password. So um, what I ended up doing was just going to edit here, WPA personal, I added the security, and then I just added the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, this is just for testing to show you guys. Uh, and then I went ahead and hit save. And now you'll notice that WPA PSK security is set. And this will push out, again, I this pushed out to my access points that I needed, and that I tested again, and I was able to get a um, a, uh, a password prompt this time to get onto the guest network. So I don't know, I haven't looked into uh, in depth in this to see if the, the new controller software, the way that Ubiquity defines um, a guest hotspot, um, or it's just, you know, that's maybe the way that they do it, it's an open, um, I, I'm not sure, or if, if it's maybe a software bug, I'm not sure. It's, again, I, I, this is new to me, so I just wanted to show you guys how I, I did this. So if you run into this problem, I hope it helps. If you want to go back to it, just go to, or the new user, new user interface, just say uh, user interface here. And under display, it'll say new user interface. And check on that. Hit apply settings and you know you're back to where you were before so i just ran into this and this is what worked for me and i hope it helps solve your problem